Wasamura is with Yahweh. Come connect to Kumana. Ukibuka handi agukuye. Yes. Ukibuka. Kwa agukuye. Yes. Kwa muganga warumeze nabi. Yes. Ukibuka kwa aguhayro bjaro. Ukibuka. Ukibuka. Kwa agukishijaha. Sawa kuibu kugoro kundo kuimana. Sari chawa na nuru kundo kuimana.
Mbele anofe mbukisa mkibana Na uthi Mbukiro ti Musa jisa Jira Hawe Na uthi Yes, Lord. Gabi wiki taga ezidada we disi kwezuru. Hallelujah. Ora kiri e gusi gabi wiki taga ezidada. Kuriye na mashwa tuje halalo, ora kuriye gushi ya mami wiki tanga. Isinar jawe, isinar jawe, isi kwezu. Ora kuriye bia, ora kuriye, ora kuriye gushi. Gabi wiki tanga, Gabi wiki tanga. Is it not your way, your mama? Is it not your way, your mama? Mare ose. Eso amora me shumuti mawa, mubiru ti ura kuiriye, ura kuiriye. Gushima, Gabi, Gabi wiki tanga. Is it not that way? 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 One more time, one more time. You see me? 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 You're worthy of the praises, Lord. There is no one who can be seen like you. And no one can be like you, Lord. Who can be compared to you. You are above all. If we may speak about you, my God, it can come to morning and noon. And who can be like you, my God? Who can be compared unto you? You are worthy of our praise. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be praised. Blessed are those who are in your house. Those who are able to praise you. Blessed are those that you shine your praise upon. They are able to, to praise you. My good Lord, we thank you. Yes, we Jesus, you are worthy. Praise the Lord. Gushima, Gushima, oh Now I get it, I want to be with you. Would I quit you? Would I quit you, Gabi? Gushi, would I be there? I'm a sick of you. Would I quit you? Would I quit you? Would I quit you? Would I quit you? Gushi, would I quit you? Would I quit you?
Hallelujah. 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 Wa jeze munzu y'Imana. Hallelujah. 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 Wa bashishwe n'Imana kuza munzu yayo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in his house. Hallelujah. Oh, how it is good to be in the house of God. Besides your challenges. And then you come and encounter the glory of God. Besides all that is making you well. And you come in the presence of God and you encounter oh, his presence. Hallelujah. Yes, you have so Jesus said that in my house it will be a house of fellowship. I would like us to pray at this moment. My house will be a house of prayer. Let us pray in this evening. We are ongoing in the 40 days of prayer of fasting. On which day are we? Eh? We are on the 30th day. <laughs> For those who do not remember, we are on the 30th day. We are on left with 10 days. But still, we should not release our God before we achieve our goal. We are going to pray for the church starting from our senior pastor that may God strengthen him. These are difficult times to the servants of God where so many people they are afraid of speaking of God because of different legislations all are over the world. And so Paul said that pray for me whenever I open my mouth, I open it in boldness. Let us pray for him, for God to give him the boldness. So we are going to ask God that he may strengthen all the servants of God in authentic word ministry. That God may also bless them with their families. That God may support them in the work that he has entrusted them to do. If there is any place of discouragement you may know, it is in the leadership positions of serving God in the most high Position. The only thing that can strengthen God Niman. is only God Himself. And this is why Niman we are praying that God may strengthen His servant that He has called in this time like this. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your servant Lord, that you have arrived and you have, we will bring to you Pastor Paul Dichwaza, the pastor you have given to us and you have given him to him in times like this. Father, we pray that you may exalt him above all his challenges, above where all his challenges and barriers. My God, abide from all that is making him weary. Father God, we pray. And your word says that your servants, that you make them tongues of fire. My God, let him be, let him be a tongue of fire in this world of darkness. Let him be a tongue of fire in this world of darkness. Let him be a tongue of fire in this world of darkness. And also, Father, we are the message you have given me. Let it feed the whole world. And Father, I'm waiting for the nations that are hosting. And they also expand the territory wherever you reach. You may reach them in the good way. Father, we pray for this family. That you can make them peace. You may feel well. Let them have my life. My God, let them give them the victory in the name of Jesus. Madam, in his wife, Father God protect him. Give him a strong, give him a strong heart. A very strong heart. Their children, Lord. We pray for Elizabeth. We pray 
a Luke. We pray for Luke. We pray for David. The Father God. They may see the goodness of the priest. They may see the goodness of the priest. In the name of Jesus. The Spirit of authentic word ministry. Your word says, Father. Let us do the work. We are the only double. Father, we pray. Any time you make it, you have to be on. In everything you have to be on. In wisdom, you have to be on. In all authority, 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 you have to be on. The work to which you have entrusted them, Father God, exalt them. Exalt them, my God. Above all their challenges, above all their discouragement, my God, multiply them for your love. Your word says that those who wait upon you, they will be strengthened, their strength will be renewed. Father, we pray for the Father that you should renew their strength in the work you have called them to, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To this sing. As we are still in prayer. To ascend your name, Shambo. We are standing in the word. That is in Matthew sixteen verse eight. Matthew sixteen verse eighteen. Matthew. Hari vuga ngo ni mwana wa Imana. Hari vuga ngo. He says. Na nyenda kubgira ni uri petero. Kani nzuba kito yorjanje kuruugo rutare. Kanda mare mboi kuzimu, nazari shobora. Amen. And I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Tujia kusengera, mugane wa Amerika kujirango imana izane uobjute. We are going to pray for the continent of America so that God may bring revival in that continent. There may be revival. They should bring a transformation. And God may bring love within them. The first love they had for evangelism. So many missionaries came from the U.S. But now they are so occupied within their churches. So we pray that God may bring back the fire of revival of evangelism in them. And then we shall pray again. That God may use America to teach Africa on how to do things perfectly. And also we shall pray for the church in Africa that they may bring revival in the U.S. And so many times the children of Africa they migrate into the America. They go for studies and they keep there. And the time has come that they may take revival and then when they come back they come back with knowledge to impart Africa. We are going to pray for that. And then we shall pray that God may rise up authentic word ministry in the wealth. You know that there are so many projects that God has arised in this ministry. So we are going to pray to God that he may arise different people. That they may support this ministry. Did you hear what we are going to pray for? And then we shall pray for our own nation. We are going to pray for America, America. the great revival of the Pentecost. It came from the Azusa Street in the, in the U.S. Until now, God can still do something about it. Let's pray that God may again arise them and give them revival. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for America because of God in the past days, you poured in your fire and the fire arose and went to Europe and went to Africa and now it has come to us. 
the salvation came to because of this reason Father we believe that the way they came the fire you may take back in the fire of the Holy Spirit arise the young and the young girls that are ready to serve you in the name of Jesus the church is in the U.S. Father God, let them have a vine of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a burden of evangelism. And in the U.S. No and even outside in, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the church in Africa. Give us the strength to be bold and the next one of America that we may bring revival there. For those who are there, my God, we ask for boldness and power of miracles and signs so they may bring many to Christ and they may bring to Christ where it was before and let them be all and they start to honor God in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that the grace of knowledge from the marriage arise young men and the young men and women and girls who should come to Africa bringing back that knowledge so that their life revival that is coming from Africa is should change everything in wealth and in prayer in the name of Jesus. So Father, we ask because of authentic word ministry that you may bring in wealth your word says that you're going to shake the nations. You're going to shake the wealth of the nations. So in this time you're doing that. Father, we pray for that wealth to come in here. It will come in your house. So that in a time like this we may be able to serve you. We may be able to serve you as it is worthy. At the moment, I would like us to pray for this nation of Rwanda. Let's ask God to fill us with peace and security. The word of God reads that uh, let's pray for the authorities so that we may have peace, that we may not have calamity. Praying for the nation. You're praying for yourself as well. Pray for the nation. As you're following us, the nation to which you dwell, pray for us. We are also praying for Rwanda. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the nation of Rwanda. In the name of Jesus. Father, starting from our president, his excellency, Paul Kagame, and the leader of this nation. Father, do good to him. My God, give him peace. And he's an infantry. Strengthen him, Lord. Give him the power. Give him more wisdom. So that the level to which you are rather to be, it's where you should be. And also, Father, make him enter and strengthen him. Whatever discourages him. Father, we pray for all the levels of security. My God, give them to be aware. And also, we pray that you should be aware for that you have. Your word says, but if he's not God, and those who are awake are awake for now, if he's not God, who is protecting the city, those who are protecting it are protecting it in vain. Father, we ask that you are one, and you protect it in Rwanda, and protect the boundaries of Rwanda. Security, it should be in Rwanda, in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of Hosea on the, the of war. The spirit of war we take it away in the name of Jesus. Father God, we speak in the name of Jesus. And the atmosphere of Rwanda in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God, that you have heard our prayer and your word. What is more exceedingly what we ask for in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Give God a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To go back to sing. It is good for us to pray. Amen. Amen. As we are still standing, let us receive the promise of this day. Turi kuwa kabiri ukwezi kwa chumi na kumwe Itari kumunani bibiri makumyabiri na kabiri Uyuno musi wa magana tatu chumi ni bibiri umaka Mwekumwe na aposo Dr. Polo Gitkwaza Uyuno musi wa mirongu tatu Uyumisi mirongu ina murugendo wachu Rukwa kuiriza nogusenga 
hasigaye iminsi 10 gusa ngo turusoze wihangane muri iminsi 10 niba byarakuna n'indi minsi yose twihanganire tuzabane nawe tuyirangizanye nawe iminsi 10 kuri imbere ni yagaciro cyane isezera ry'umunsi nzagurutse umuntu uzakuvana muri ubwo buretwa kandi azakurinda ngo utagira icyo uba amen igitabo cha Hosea ibice ni 12 ku munongo wa 14 uwiteka yavanye Israeli muri Egiputa abitegetse umuhanuzi kandi umuhanuzi niwe wamurindaga ho oh. ngo imana igiye gwagurutsa umuntu witegwe ko kuvana muri ayo madeni muri ubwo bukode muri ibyo bitaro muri ako gahinda muri ubwo bugumba muri ubwo buseribatere hari umuganga imana izakohereza uzakuvura iyo ndwara igakira hari umugabo imana izaguha uzagutsindira ugo rubanza ufite hari umuntu imana igiye kohereza uzagukura aho muri Egiputa turyamye muri uyu mwanya kuko yabigenje ku Israel Bibiliya iravuga ngo yavanye Israel muri Egiputa ngo abitegetse umuhanuzi hari imana igiye gutegeka kukugirira neza muri iyi minsi kugira ngo ubwo bure twirimwe ubashe kubuvamo Ushimwe kandi uhimbazwe mana ku uyu mundu ari we umutegetse aho agiye kuzava icyo agiye kuzakora uwazaba ari we ibyo niyo ubizi icyo twiteguye ni umuntu ugiye kuza kuvana mwene data muri ubu buretwa kugira ngo agire mudendezo Urakoze kubidukoreye mu izina rya Yesu Kristo mwami wacu amen Amen Mutaricara Before you sit down Ndagira ngo ni uramutse abantu babiri I would like you at least to Wavuge ijambo ryiza Two people and speak a good word upon their lives Amen 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 Mushobora kwicara mu kubaho kw'Imana Now you may have your seats in the presence of God for those who have spent long without seeing each other, then you can greet Amen. yourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we welcome you in this evening service. Feel well in the presence of God. online. And for those following us online, YouTube, Facebook, you're watching via YouTube, Facebook, on radio or TV authentic. May the Lord God bless you for gathering with us. And I believe that you are going to be blessed as Amen. well. Amen. Amen. I would like us to receive our visitors. And uh, it's your very first time to come here to Zion. Or you've spent long without coming here. We would like to welcome you. You are in our midst. You may rise up your hand. May the Lord God bless you. Amen. You may stand up on your feet for the church to recognize you. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you abundantly. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For those next to you, for those next to you, they may hug you. If they did it before, they should do it once more. Amen. Amen. And if you have no church where you go to, you are always welcome to gather with us. But now we are in the 40 days of prayer. And we congregate here starting Tuesday until Friday. Starting at, 11, at 5 p.m. And on Sunday, we have three services. You may find yourself in those services. And if you have a church where you go to, then you may send our greetings to them. And tell them the saints from Zion, they send their greetings to you. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. You may have your seats. Amen. 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 It is good to have visitors, isn't it? And are you happy I can see you clapping? Yes. Amen. Amen. 
if we recognize them, <laughs> it's because that there is a one day you also you were a visitor in this no, church. Now urunge muritswe. And now you are Nero one of us. Us. So we also receive all the visitors. So now let's go into a good moment of giving in our offerings. Requesting Ezaf to come closer. We have different ways which we offer. For those here in the sanctuary. We have baskets. And even different uh, Circuits that are going all over in the seats. And for those using the Momo Pay, we have a code number. You press star 182, star 8, star 1, star 03 Zion Temple Celebration Center. Registered on Zion Temple Celebration Center. And for those outside this nation of Rwanda, world remit. you may also use World Remit on this number plus 250. Karin Gumunani, seven eight, Maganatan, Mongchana Gatatu, five hundred ninety three, Mongta Tunichenda, sixty nine, Chuminagata, fifteen. Mureke after Maturo to Afatem Viganza Biachu. For those uh, who have their offerings, let's get them holding our hands Nijachumi. and our tithe as well. And then we pray over it. Mana Dragushimi, Father God, we thank you. For you have made us gain. Your word says that after you eat and you're full, and remember that it's I the Lord who gives strength and strength that makes you to get what you gain. So Father, we have come to say that it's you who enabled us to gain. And again, we come to thank you in your house. Receive our offerings and the tithe. And Father, I pray that bless each and everybody is going to offer everyone who has not had something to bring in your house Father God the next time give them what to offer that they may be able to offer thank you our God in the name of Jesus Christ Lord. Amen, Amen.
비추어가지고 이렇게 비추어야 되겠습니다. To my heart, that's a no. 들어주시며 나타무. So Father, we thank you. 공부의 모습 미사 와트의 매연 모투이시 미네 모투네즈레. For this beautiful day that you have created for us to rejoice in it. 공부하이 초바. And so we give you the honor. 
because you're the only one worthy of the honor and it's you the only keeper of honor the honor is all yours and you'll never share it with anyone you are the God of honor and you are the God of authority yes here in the world there are people they have taken their honor but then the honor belongs to you, my God. You are the God of honor. And you are the God of honor. You are the God of honor. Church of God. In this week, we have a theme that says receiving double honor. You cannot receive honor when you have not sold honor. Now, if you want honor, so so something you're going to harvest later. May the Lord God give you double portions. This is my very first time to see people singing the national anthem while seated down. They can take you to prison for that. You are giving God the glory while sitting down. Now you're going to tell me it is heavy for me. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. If you don't have any backache and you are not such an elderly person, for those the elders, you may sit down no problem. But then let us do it once and we say, God, the honor is the honor is yours. And may he do good to you. You may have your seat in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thirty days is not an easy thing, I know. Yes, I'm just taking it for granted. But still, I want to benefit from it and we give God the honor. Many people would prefer to carry their hands on the head because of issues and problems. And they do it very easily. <laughs> and some will sit while they are so calm on the table. At times they even are thinking about life. 
They say, how come are these prayers going to end anyway? Uh, so my program now is I no longer count the days which are remaining. Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord Jesus. Mm. During that time, I had my trouser coming down. And I said, let me also shift the button. <laughs> By the time I tried to reach it, I found I got there already. Then I say, this is not an either thing. So when they say it is the 30th day, I say, yes, this is right. Yes, it is the 30th day, I now agree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. This is for the people who took part in the fasting. So what about you didn't take part in these prayers? What do you have to say? Amen. But may the Lord God bless us all. Amen. And may the Lord God do good to you in everything. So we have nowhere else to take you. Remain here. And, <laughs> and the Bible says those who are weak in faith receive them. In the heart of God there is also a seed for the weak people. So do not condemn yourself. God loves you so much. So how can he do it? What do you want him to do? He doesn't love you for your weaknesses, by the way. There are scriptures to which we believe as we stretch He said he chose the weak. We, we the weak. That he may put to shame those strong people. Hallelujah. Yes, he chose the weak, but never let them have the weakest. We were all called as weak people. But then day by day, he strengthens us. If he happens to leave you in the way he found you, then the world will just walk over you. But then God multiplies your strength always. Now allow God that you should grow. Yes, no, Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is the last 40 days of prayer that you are exonerated from it. Please strengthen yourself next time. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Now this time I'm taking the story part for longer. But let me tell you this one last story. When I was still single and I was asking God to pray that he may also exalt me and give me a name. <laughs> yes, I was caught in. There is someone that I had had an interest in. And then I say I'm taking 40 days because of her. These are the <laughs> sweetest prayers that I have ever had. I prayed this kind of prayer. I didn't sleep. At 3 a.m. I would be awake. I lived with other boys who had fiancés. And I would find them busy on their phones occupied with their fiancés. And then I would tell God, this is what I need. So I prayed when I completed the 40 days. And for the church also it began. I said I won't stop. So I continued the, the 80 days of prayer I had them with me and did it go through you think <laughs> the young men of today do not pray but I, for, I prayed for 80 days and God said my son take it and I said, God, if you do transfer these prayers to King Faisal, then the lamb would be walking and the sick would be healed. 
let us have this uh, determination of seeking the Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord God bless you so much. So now allow me and give a thank three people on my behalf. Support me and thank these three people next to oh, The first one is the Lord Jesus. Hey. Do you know Lord the Lord wow. Jesus? Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 He is my man. Amen. He is my personal man. Give thanks to him. Hallelujah. And the second is my spiritual parents, the visionary of this ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is also my close friend. And the third are you. Amen. Hallelujah. You are my people. Hallelujah. You may sit in the glory of God. Amen. Amen. And may God bless you. So in this week we have a theme that says receiving double honor. So I was asking myself, God, is it among the things that people need, really? But then I came to find that it is the opposite of reproach. Or to be humbled down. And then when I thought about it, I said, no, I think we need it. Because normally being despised is not a good thing. Or having reproach upon you, it is something else. And then I ask God, do you really always give your honor? And now you're releasing it to us. You're releasing it from your heart. Yes, there are some things I spoke to myself, but I don't know which is true. Maybe he doesn't give it that it should be called upon you. But then he makes you shift and you dwell in his honor. Praise the Lord Jesus. He will never share his honor with or his glory with another person. But then his own children, they will benefit from it. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. So now, if you find yourself honored, and when you track, you see that it's coming right from God, then get to know that the Lord draws in you. It is not for you, but for the neighbor next to you. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. Honor has its own. In this world, there are battles for people fighting for honor. And they are using all their strength. And even the strength of an extraordinary level. And even very, very uh, poisonous uh, weapons, I can say. And even at your work of place. If you may look closely, you find this battle of honor there. And even and here in the church, you find the battle of honor. So the day they ordained us by that time, and one, one person said, you have prayed for us in a wrong time. Don't you, if you had made it earlier, 
Everybody is writing against the servants of God and every we have become a parable outside here. It is something not up there at the moment. But when they were still speaking, then my mind rushed to the scriptures then I sought for a person to which honor was so good to them and then I sought somebody who enjoyed the honor of being called and then I said could it be Elijah they had their knees just for like a god because of praying are they the poles that they were flocked all the time and what kind of honor do they talk about that they need is it for Jesus that he is mentioning servants of God just as we have been called and it has no sugar within it. It is like uh, let us use it and work it. Let us dwell in it very cheerfully. If you happen to seek honor in your calling, or I seek it from standing here and being great. And I just mistake it of honor. No, 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 but to bakaro taguhagara imbera ha ngu konye na hagaze. And they also dream of standing here as I am doing. Bakaji na ngoni package ichu wahiro. And they think this is one of the packages among the honor. Nasha kusanga arukuwe shaba. So I came to find this is lying to people. Umwe mwa shumba ajambaza na rikose kuchaba na bakundu bushu. One of our pastors asked me why do people like being pastors. Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord Jesus. Why do we love, love being pastors anyway? If I may ask. It's because we love serving God. Or is it because you saw that the pastor, they help him with the books? Because it is good that we should take the poison out of the young people. Yes, I'm not that much old. But doing this is a calling. And the owner made it testless that we should not be full and forget. And he did it willingly. The people who build worldly systems that are great. Whenever they expose someone. And they make them like Eric who takes the books of the apostle. So they will try by all means to take away all the other authorities he has. So that in carrying the books of the great man, and it should put in power and kill people because of that. So it is mandatory that you give them one part and you also deny them another one. So that they may make their footstep on the ground. There should be a balance in what they do. Yes, this is honored and it is good. And it is of great value. And you too God has given it to you that's why where we are going to read you find yourself there but then there is a part of sweetness that God took out of it yesterday so that people may not take it for granted because in heaven he has taken away the boundaries the curtain that covered the holy of the holiest was covered now you can enter yourself where the priests would fall where people would also test what is of honor now you can reach there by yourself hallelujah but then it required God to put a balance because he had taken away all the boundaries so in the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 
61 Prophet Isaiah chapter 61 verse 6 and to 7 No, I let's think. start on verse 5. Yes. Amanyamahanga nivo bazawa na jirira imikumbi. Kandi alashiti nivo bazaja baba hinjiri. Bakichira inza vivu zanyi. Aliko mwebuke ho. Yes, ashi mwe. Amen. Muzit kwa alatamji vuitek. Wana sifiwa. Amen. Ni mgetuvuka. Muzit kwa abatamji vuitek. You will be called servants of God. Priests of the Lord. Ava nubaza vita. Ava gara kubima na yachu. Amen. Muzarja ibyo ava nyama hanga watunz. Hallelujah. Kandi mchuwa ilo chavo niho muzira atira. Amen. Unangu wakari inungi. Mchimbo chago korwa niso ni kwanyu. Muzahererwa, muzagererwa kabiri. Hallelujah. Muchimbo chokumara kwavo bazishimira umugabane wabo. Nicho gituma mu gihugu cyabo bazibagira bazagabirwa kabiri. Bazagira umunezero uhoraho. Amen. Mwakirenze jambo ry'Imana. Let's read the word of God from the prophet Isaiah 61, verse 5 and to 7. It says, Strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the foreigner shall be your prone men and your vine dressers. But you shall be named the priests of the Lord. They shall call you the servants of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory you shall boast. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, you shall have, you shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be theirs. Amen. But you be called the priests of the Lord. You didn't mention amen according to being priests, but then when we said you shall eat of the strangers, you raised your amen. Maybe you didn't understand what it means. That you be called the priests of the Lord. You be called the servants of the Most High God. So it is amazing how he starts with this statement. Some of the things I've been saying earlier. Because it is of honor, I'm telling you. To be called a priest. And you also become a priest. You may not hear the heaviness of this term. But among the cost and the price that Jesus prayed on the cross. Let me tell you that this also was among. Yes, it was itching him. Until when he will make you enter into priesthood, not only being a priest, but also usher you into the gates of the kingdom, and you are going to be called a king and a priest. In the book of Revelation 1 6, and has made us kings and priests of his God and Father. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. In Revelation 5, uh, 10, 9, 10. Ni wawe ukwiriye kwenda igitabo no kumena ibimenyetso bigifatanije kuko watamwe gucungurira imana abo mu miryango yose no mu ndimi zose no mu moko yose no mu mahanga yose ubacunguje amaraso yawe ukabahindurira imana yacu kuba bami nabatambyi kandi ngo bazimahe mwisi 
And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue, the people of the nations, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Amen. Exodus 19 verse Exodus 19 None muzambera amaronko Mbatoranirije mu mahanga yose kuko isi yose ari yanje Kandi muzambera ubwami bwabatanye nubwoko bwera Now therefore if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people for all the earth is mine and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation Yesu dashimwe Praise the Lord Jesus Ibi nabyo rero biri mu mugabane this is also included among the portion to which we are taking this week. Yet we are already have it, but then it is deactivated within us. The day his blood was shed on the cross, he was ushering us into the wide gate of heaven. And the wide gate of being priests. Yes, it is possible you never knew the value of that. But I myself never knew about it. That times we believers, we think our value will be manifested in heaven. But then the word has said that we shall reign here in earth. If you happen to leave this world without being a king, then forget about it. Forget about it. Get to know that you never beat being a king anymore. To where God has given us to reign, it is here in the earth. Yes, you're asking to God to go to heaven at the moment. And you want to go there still a servant. And here in the world, He has given us life to be priests and kings. To be priests and kings. So to tell you, you are the priest of the most high God. That is the standard of living. It is the standard of life. In the spiritual world and even in a tangible world normally Long time ago, God chose the nation of Israel as a nation, as a chosen nation. So in this nation, he chose a people that should always serve God in the holies. Because because he saw that no everyone could not stand before him. So that everybody would wake up one morning and go before the Lord. So when God remembered, he said according to my nature, all people should not come always to boss before my presence. I may strike them, yet they are my people. Now, among this nation, let me choose a people. So they chose the family of the Levites. Praise the Lord Jesus. And they were given this obligation to always serve what is holy of the Lord. But then, according to the family of the Levites then God chose another family and said this family the family of Aaron and his children and even those to come after them they, should, they will be serving God in the holy of the holies because in God there are dimensions. There are also categories. 
category is not for the who they have, but for God himself. And that's why we come from glory unto glory. And that's why there is maturity. And that's why we mature within God. We come from one level to another level. And God saw so that he will not wait for all people to mature. That they should start serving him in the holies. And so God said to Moses, you know what? It requires you to bring your brother Aaron here. So among the family of the Levites, God chose the family of Aaron that they may serve God as high priests. It was a work of honor. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord Jesus. So in the tabernacle, there were three categories categories or chambers. There was the first chamber of where everyone entered. A courtyard. Courtyard. And then there a Levi and a priest and even the high priest they were all able to meet and also enter have access no, no one else was allowed to enter into this court here unless a Levi and the priest and the high priest as well. So you may ask me what is the difference between a high a priest and a Levi? All, all priests were Levites. But all Levites were not priests. So the Bible said they would look for people with over 20 years of experience. And then they will put them into the category of priests. Praise the Lord Jesus. So they would be among the people serving as priests. So now the Levite they could be able to bring the young gods and also the bull because apart from the entrance or among the courtyards there is also another one called a holy so besides beyond the holy there is the holy of the holies or the holy of the holiest so in this tabernacle there was an altar. So there was an altar also there was a basin. Besides the basin, besides the washing there also was a work of the tabernacle of the tents. So in the courtyard and on the altar a Levi would accept and also a high priest from the family of Aaron or their descendant would come to there so they would bring two gods based on the sacrifice they are about to offer so when this God was there they will also cast plot and there and there would be chosen the God to which is going to be and they want to be sacrificed to God so because of the sins of the priests and of the people out of the plus cast then it will be decided which God to be given to God and they want to be sacrificed on behalf of the priest. And then they will get to know which one to be burned. So they would sacrifice the first God and then the high priest they will take from the blood and then enter into the temple after getting from the basin washing and so he would uh, smear this blood on the ark of the covenant 
fujira. So that the blood may speak on his behalf. In the Henerero. So this other God. In he, it is forward. Then he would confess all the, the sins. Go, go, go. The sins of the people. And then the Levi will take it. And then take it away and make it stray away. And then God would have a room for breathing. And so they would go on the basin of washing. And they would wash his And they would anoint themselves with oil. And so now they enter into the Who were entering is the high priest and the, the priest. These are the only ones who had access to the yes, Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus. I know it is complicated Ariko somehow. But then I'll bring it back here in the scripture. Aharelu. So here in the holies, the priest will not go beyond it. The only one to go to the holy of the holies was the high priest. They would also access it just once in a year. On the day of sacrifices, Yom Kippur. In Yom Kippur. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. So, all these levels that shows to come closer to God, they go accordingly to its owner. All these levels we take. So, a Levi was not better than a priest. And a priest was not greater than the high priest. So the more you go from we glory man. coming closer to God, the more you receive God's power. So it is not something to be given to you. It is a step of life. The more you make a step in this life we live, we coming closer to God, not being distracted by your death, no, 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 no. not being distracted because you have no, 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 no. not being distracted by the high prices, no, 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 no. and then you continue into the level no, of the no, priest, no, and you take more time in it, no, 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 to the extent of being a priest, no, 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 no. and you take a step further, yes, no, no, no. praise the Lord Jesus, no, 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 no. and then you are able to enter into Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this time, it was not possible that a priest that is not according from the generation that they may continue. That's why the Bible says that the curtain that was closing the holy family. of the holiest was no, no. And now it's no longer for Alan only. Now it is yours as well. It's no longer for high priests. Also come to you. He no longer requires the blood of the grass of the Haifa or the bull. Ah, there is the blood of the son of God that was sacrificed on the cross. And the curtain that closed the whole of the valley was cut in two twos. And this is why you are here in the 40 days of prayer. Yes, you have no access in these prayers. You could never come closer to the temple. You were not allowed at all. It was something exceptionally for other people. And so the Bible has read that but you you're going to be called priest. So this is what they mean to say that you are a priest. You will be closer to the grave. You're so much close to God. You're so much close to the glory of God. You are in the glory of God. And so those who look before after you, as they see the standard of life you're living, yet in your shoulders, it is carrying the ark of the covenant. And the glory of God is just manifested upon your life. So let us pray 
to God until when the glory of God it should come and shift with us. So when Moses went up on the mountain, he went to see the face of God and he made men 40 days and even 40 nights he was calling upon the living God. And so one morning he came down so when he came here in Kigali and all people would put on their sunglasses everybody would put on their sunglasses and they see they could not bear seeing his face so let us seek the Lord so that the glory of God should be shifted in us yes people were familiar with you yes they look for the sign of heaven so the time is now that I now the aroma of God to be the glory of God to be yours so the time is now that you may continue this journey you may make a step forward and enter into the ministry of God enter into the heart of the Lord so that you may know your future you may know the future of your children you may get to know the gossip and the rumors being said upon you and get to know what is of today and what to be and so the bible continues to he said who is among the counsels of the lord and get to know what god is thinking praise the lord god but you you're going to be called priests the priests of the serve of God yes the boundaries have been taken away the boundaries have been taken away heaven took off the boundaries so that we may seek the Lord God and find him heaven has taken away all the borders that we may encounter this God yes you do not know what it costed God. Yes, uh, leadership has come. God is the only one that is the author of centralization. So God said, I will not stop here. Yes, let the door of the kingdom be opened unto them. So I have great news tonight. We are among the the congregation of priests the kings and the priests we are in the gate of the kings and the priests the people who meet God the people who pray to him the people who speak directly to God and then he speaks and we also understand the people who look face to face to God yes long time ago it was just a desire and it was a desire for the great so Moses said, but God, yes, I hear you, that is right, but then I would like to see your glory, my God. He said, yes, Moses. He said, I long to see your glory, because whenever I hear you, there is a way I imagine you. And this is why you leave the radio and then you buy a TV. There is a way you want to see the pictures of those talking. This man who speaks very well, how does he resemble you? Why don't you be sure you are here? So God said, Moses, nobody looks at me and they still live but then your desire has touched my heart so I'm going to change this command. there are things that God you will change says. when you have prayed in you the right way says. when you have asked in the right manner so this is how it was with Solomon God said no since I've been called down, I have never seen a king asking for wisdom. You didn't ask me for to punish your enemies. 
So receive wisdom. Receive wealth. And also receive honor. Be given life. So the desire of Solomon. It made God to be so <laughs> weak before man. A young man who just had been enthroned. That times when you are filled with joy. And you know you don't know how to connect and yet you were this one person. But then they touched the socket of the league. So church of God. Ask well. And pray in a good manner. So God told Moses. No, no. He said, now then. Yes, you won't see my face. But there is a place next to me. That you are going to stand. And then you shall wait and pass by. Yes, you will not see my face. Remember? But then you will look through the rock. And then you also see my back only. I wish you may see the back of God. Those debts will be paid off. If you may see the back of God only. Yes, you're barren. You have double. At the same time. Hallelujah. 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 So you need to see God. So the Bible comes. That when they saw him, and the light shone upon them, and their eyes, it will never have any shame at all. So this is what you need, my brother. You need to see God. You need to see God. The light of God should shine upon you. The light of God should come upon you. And the shame will free from you. Hallelujah. And then. Shame will be strained. and when they look at him, and the light shone upon him, and their eyes, it will never have any shame. And who are those? These are the ones who are full of thirst to see the living God. And also God Himself, He has brought down all He has, and He also comes from His hiding place. And then he comes to his people. And the Bible continues to say. And then Jesus. He again revealed himself. To his disciples. On the sea of Tiberia. Well, you may see God again my brother. I wish you may see God once more. I wish in this prayer. In these few days. Remind me. That you may see God face to face. That you may look at Jesus face to face. And your life will have a new direction. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord Jesus. So Jesus, when he came here in the world, he came as a high priest. But then not be beyond the ironism. He didn't take the level of error. He said no. That is not my standard. Psalms are uh, 110 verse 4. <laughs> That he purposed this. And he will never take away his word. That he is at the level of Melchizedek. The one who has no father or mother. The one to which Abraham met and offered his tithe. So now. If we are serving in the high priesthood of Jesus is the level of Melchizedek, then it means we the priests we are no longer in the level of Aaron's priests. If the high priest has also set up the bar, so with the priest next to him, our bar has been set high. I don't know if you get it. In 2000, 5,000 a 5,000 knot, you would take it at Nakumat and Simba supermarkets and also pass by Carrefour supermarket. 
But in this time, me, me no it. it is just here down in the mouth. And the money is over completely. Completely. Kuerich. Why? The value of money has changed. Yeah. So, being a priest in a time of Aaron, yes, sir, sanga, Jesus found that it is at a very low level. And, and then in Hebrews it says, though the priesthood <laughs> has been changed, so the law must change. If the high priest is at the level or standard of Melchizedek, and he has made us priests as well. So our value has been increased. I wish you may comprehend this. Then you may receive the prophecy of this week. Let me tell you this. I did not prophesy this. God spoke to the apostle and the apostle spoke to the pastor. and so we are telling you what came from the heart of God. Yes! God spoke to Moses a long time ago and Moses would speak to Aaron and Aaron would speak to the congregation. So between Aaron and Mo and uh, God, there was a man. Praise the Lord God. The reason why you're hearing this prophecy and the prophecy of this week, it requires you to open up your mind and get to know your standard. This is where your honor is. Yes, yes, yes. And so Jesus, when he came to the world, he didn't like to go through the family of the Levites. And then he went around and he went through Judah. There are times when God will yes, just interfere with the time. Jesus will go through to where he was. He didn't go through the Levites. And the Bible continues to say, and Moses, and Moses, said, and Moses said nothing of the family of Judah concerning being peace. And so God will cross the times and will cross the days. God will pass wherever he wants. He didn't go through the Levites, but he went through the Judah. This did not stop him to be a high priest. And God is exchanging your time. And the Bible continues to say that instead of shame, I receive honor. Instead of shame, God has gone through another way. We have a God who can never be taken for granted. And that's why he speaks from the prophet. God will never touch him by his word. He will pass wherever he wants. What is hurting you, my brother? You've been kept waiting for God in one way. And you never know he has a lot of power. This will burden your heart. You want an answer from people. God is taking out from the people. Shakimana. So seek Shakimana. God. Seek God. Inunanyimis. And God who is exchanging time. There are times you've been ruled over. And God will exchange his time. Just because what went through Aaron. And also went to Judah. If it hand it also has another way and to go through. And it will come to your place. So there is a time that child you do not want to give their yeah, heart to the church, there will be your blessing. You say we don't accept this family. How do you know God? <laughs> the word of there is one time I heard God talking to the certain girl. That do not kick your blessings. The times when you are asking for bread from Simba supermarket. And then he brings it. But then he brings it in the paperback. Of he says, no, it's not him. He said, you didn't read it. So, do not be distracted do not, do not be distracted by the seasons. Do not be distracted by the seasons. Do not be distracted by the world. Do not be distracted by the world. Do not be distracted by the world. 
Christ that is for us. Imana it shall shock. God will do whatever He wants. Imana it shall shock. God will pass wherever He wants. Abraham went up on the mountain. When he was going to sacrifice Isaac, when he looked aside, he could not see God anywhere. And he would not see anything around him. And then he never knew that the lamb has also come from another side of the mountain. Yes. You may go through two ways you are but God, then you meet in the center. You meet in the center. You meet in marriage. You meet in your college. You meet in your job. So do not be distracted by God will go where you need. God will pass anywhere he wants. But you, you be called the servant and the priests of God. And may God be praised. Stand up and let us pray over you. Stand up and let us pray for you. There are double honor. There are double portions of honor that are waiting for you. So I would like that your eyes of faith have the eyes of faith. Yes, at times it has for you to mixture what you see and what you hear. You hear God promising miracles. But when you look around, you only see bad. And you hear God comforting you. But when you come around, you see sickness and diseases. You hear God saying you have children. But when you see around, you look on barrenness. And then on Thursday, I will tell you what should be. It doesn't walk alone. It also has some escorts accompanying it. It has escorts accompanying it. Honor itself. It has young girls, young boys, and young girls escorting it. And be aware. Honor can change your address. It has been told of your address. Is coming from its owner or sender when it is sent. Knowing exactly what it is. It never goes astray. Yes, there are problems. There are also solved by Dagon. So ask of Dagon about it. In the house of Ashidot. Honor came into the ark of the covenant. And when it got there. And the Dagon fell down. When the honor of God enters your house. All the things in your home will get to know about. The sorcerers and witches in your place will know about. The first work it accomplishes is to bring to loss and then to benefit you later. So the Lord God, the Lord God, the Lord God. Yes, Lord Jesus, the high priest. The Bible says that then if we have a high priest in heaven and who is Jesus the Son of God that let us continue with our faith that we should not lose it. Do good to your people, oh my God. What you have promised them let it meet their lives. Activate your glory and honor in them. Let your glory in them and your power upon them. Starting from now Everyone who sees them, they will see a sign from heaven in the name of Jesus. Go home with God. Tomorrow, come back here. 
ibi tuzabi sengire shu. Yes, we shall pray for this. Hango tuzabu kiriza. We shall not preach this time. Tuzaba connect an issue to him. But we will connect you to this order. Ni standard yaba tam. And to the standard of the priest. Ni standard yaba. And to the standard of kings. Tuzaba huzana ma vuta yoku chani. We shall make you to enter. Ni utara chizwa uteri na hamge hano. You're not yet saved. Make a step forward. Uzuhure na yesu. And come and meet the Lord Jesus. Ni utara chizwa. You're not yet saved. Do not rush to go home. Just make a step forward and meet the Lord Jesus. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God bless His servants. May God bless His servants. May He bless all His children. May He bless this church. May He bless this entire nation. You are not yet saved. You just make a step forward. That God may exchange your time. Where you never thought harvest, you will harvest. Because the Lord God has come into it. Thank you. To wash your kubi soba no chigwa. To kabizi zera. To kihuza na bjo. Do koranya na usezera no. Do kugu chira no chira. No kugu kuri chira. No kugu zera. O kuri zina dia chuma jita ba churu. O kuri zina dia chuma. O diani kama jita ba chuma jia. Amateka dia chuya hindo. O kuri nzima mubuta. Ut kunci dem ubgar mi ubgar. Ut kunci dem ubgar. Nizin arja es. Amen. Mane ba jiri neza. May the Lord God do good to you. Mane ba homo jisha. And may He bless you richly. Na mungai muhluka abami na bata. That you also may be kings and priests. Amen.